Welcome back to my YouTube channel. A big thank you to all my subscribers. And if you're new here, you're welcome to the family. Today, we're diving into the process of choosing the right family planning method for you. A great session with a healthcare provider follows a simple, effective structure known as gather. Counseling, the gather steps. It starts with G, greet. The provider welcomes you, establishes trust, and ensures your privacy. This is followed by A, ask, where the provider asks about your family goals, health history, and what you currently know about contraception. This leads to T, tell. Based on your conversation, the provider suggests appropriate methods, giving you facts and information on their effectiveness and side effects. You then work together to choose the best method. This is H, help, where the clients make, make the final decision on their method of choice. Following that is E, explain. The provider fully explains how the chosen method is used and its mechanism of action, how it actually works to prevent pregnancy. Finally, R, return, ensures you know when to come back for a follow-up, resupply, or if you have any problems. Counseling is a continuous process. Now, let's explore some of the methods you might discuss and their specific mechanism of action. Long-acting reversible methods or LACs. The IUD is a small T-shaped device inserted into the uterus. Its mechanism of action is primarily to prevent fertilization. The copper IUD creates a toxic environment for sperm, while the hormonal IUD also thickens cervical mucus and thins the uterine lining. The next method is the implant. It is a thin rod placed under the skin. Its mechanism of action is hormonal. It continuously releases progestin, which stops the ovaries from releasing an egg, a process called ovulation, and thickens the cervical mucus to block sperm. Hormonal methods. The injectable is a hormonal shot given every few months. Its main mechanism of action is to reliably stop ovulation. It also works by thickening the cervical mucus. The oral pill is taken daily. Its mechanism of action is similar, using hormones to prevent the ovary from releasing an egg. Taking it daily is essential to maintain that protective hormonal level. Barrier methods. Barrier methods work by physically blocking sperm. The male condom's mechanism of action is simple. It collects semen, preventing sperm from entering the vagina. It's the best method for dual protection against pregnancy and STIs. The female condom lines the vagina and prevents sperm from entering. Meanwhile, the forming tablet's mechanism of action is chemical. It dissolves to release a spermicide that kills sperm. Permanent and natural methods. For permanent contraception, vasectomy blocks the tubes that carry sperm. Its mechanism of action is a physical barrier that prevents sperm release. Tubal ligation blocks or ties the fallopian tubes. Its mechanism of action is a physical barrier that prevents the egg and sperm from meeting. Both are permanent choices requiring careful counseling. The natural family planning method, the lactational amenorrhea method, is also a family planning method that works by the act of exclusive breastfeeding, which naturally suppresses the hormones needed for ovulation, acting as a temporary protective mechanism for new mothers. Finally, another method of natural family planning is the calendar method. This approach involves tracking a woman's menstrual cycle to estimate when ovulation is most likely to occur, based on past cycle lengths. The mechanism of action relies entirely on abstaining from or using barrier methods, like condoms, during the estimated fertile window, the days where pregnancy is most likely.
is the least reliable of the methods discussed today because it doesn't account for natural cycle variations, requiring dedication and precise record keeping to be even moderately effective. Choosing a method is a personal and important step. Understanding the gather process and the mechanism of action for each option empowers you to partner effectively with your healthcare provider. Remember, your health, your life, your choice. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Like, share and leave a comment. 